I'd like to show you how to make some magical wands using polymer clay and glue guns. Alright, it's only like two hours before the party so I'm just going to quickly um, whip up some wands. Um, I would have loved to have done this days ago but with work and everything I didn't have a chance. Um, so what I've got is I've got two pieces of dowel that I've just filed off the end into a point. This is going to be the, the point of the wand and then the other end I'll decorate. Um, so I'm going to do two different styles. I'm going to do one that's polymer clay and one that's just using a natural stick with some glue gun. Um, I have these little crystals that we made um, ages ago in one of those kits and a tiny little amethyst which I'm going to glue on the end of the, the glue gun one. So I'll just show you as I do it. Um, I have to be fairly quick because I still need to get dressed. Um, but yeah, let's uh, let's sh let's do this. I'm just going to start painting now. I'm going to use a mixture between um, burnt umber and purple matter. You talking to me? <laughs> I'm really not talking to you. <laughs> Are you talking to me? Oh, that's a cool colour. I like that colour. The purple matter, yeah. I figured it would go really nicely with the amethyst. Very Harry Potter. Very Harry Potterish. The yes. wood isn't dry. It's not very Harry Potterish. So now I'm going to make a polymer clay one. Oh, a polymer clay wand? Wand, yeah. Oh, I thought you were using that one and going around like a thin... No, that's just a, a like a, a different version. Well, you have to cook it and all that. Yeah, it doesn't take long. What, you got to cook it? Is it like some food or something? Cool. You want to do a snake head? Yeah, I'm just going to do two eyes. Yeah. Different colours? Oh, why is the bottom of it so much fatter than the actual head though? Because that's where the, it comes yeah, out of the just need to poke eyes in there. Alright, I'm going to check out what's happening downstairs. Okay, now I can play my phone. Should I take them not to on their phone and spend time with each other? With the polymer clay, you can attach it to the stick any way that you think looks good. Mum, you need help. Why? You're addicted to polymer clay. Mm, I love it. I am slightly addicted. With this crystal, I'm just pushing it onto the end because after I've cooked it, I will glue it on there. It doesn't matter what colour polymer clay you use because you can uh, paint it afterwards. I'm using red it because it's the only one that I have open. Okay, they're in the oven. Um, it was a little bit difficult to uh, make them stay, but so I just want to give you a sneak peek of how I did that. I just tucked it in on either side and um, blend it up. So I'll let them bake. Okay, so. Um, there was a little bit of a crack in the baking and so I'm just going to fill that with glue um, before I paint it. But other than that, maybe I didn't leave it in there long enough but like I said, I'm in a rush. So, looking good. This one we'll glue that on top of and then maybe paint blue around. The kids joined in painting the wands and then we added a little bit of glitter and we were all ready for the party. We really liked the metallic turquoise colour that we used over the top. I need to apologise for the amount of times that I say um, it's a really bad habit and in my future videos I'm going to try and avoid that. Thanks for watching everyone, happy crafting!